Generals, gentlemen. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Generals, gentlemen shoutcast. So we have a fantabulous matchup for you. Oh my god, is this tournament desert? Okay. Tournament desert. I only just realized it. But it is open middle. <laughs> ah, thank god. Okay, we do have Ringo up the top as the Chan Nuke. And the bottom we have Caro as the green GLA Stealth. This is open middle. So basically, this is kind of like the, the middle section of Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, as opposed to, yeah, as opposed to the Zero, yeah, the zero Hour version, hour. Yeah. where like it's, it's a cliff. So it means that you, you can walk down it. So basically, what that means is if, if, is if someone camps here, you're like, okay, no problem. Hurt? Yep. Hurt? Yep. Oh, supply! Oh! Yeah. Where before, it's, it's just like, bunker, bunker, bunker. Well, now you can't attack me. Yeah, it's a lot better, I think. And it looks like the Dozer will manage to deny the tunnel on the side. And Ringo will be going for the double uh, double Dozer build in the, for that middle supply. Oh, he sold it. That's wow. hell smart. Oh, I never really thought of that. So he got both of the supply trucks out, then sold it. And he's going to be able to deny the tunnels really, really oh, well. Hopefully he sees that what he does. Yeah, yeah, he does see that one. It looks like he's looking for the side one as well. So, wow, Caro is really going to be denied tunnel-wise here. So that supply truck's going to grab that worker, and he, he really doesn't lose that much. I mean, it's 1,500 for a supply. He's lost 750 at the start, and he's, he's denied, truck, like, though. three tunnels. Yeah, and he's already got the truck, so he's got the free truck. So he's going to even kill a couple of workers. Oh, he's really bringing on the pain here. He might even get the RPG. He does. Oh, he does. Nice. Very it doesn't well leave done. scrap as well. Like, if this is 1.4, he'll be oh, thanks for the scrap. <laughs> yeah. Has, a like, a, a scrap one technical and wins a game with, with a single technical. Yeah, so it looks like Carol will be sending out his first technical, though, onto the side. Probably drop off a worker to finish off that tunnel, maybe? No? Oh, he does. Nice. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, drop the worker off. Very nice. So we'll be moving in that uh, technical now probably might even get that dozer off to see if it's got if it's got terrace or RPGs. So Ringer going for a triple supply, only two terrace. Oh, I, I thought he must have th must have thought he could get it. Yeah, maybe he thought it was weaker than actually what it was. So three supply opening for Ringo, very aggressive opener, but it may actually pay off given how many tunnels were denied. But what's left in here? What's the dozer hunt? One more terrorist. Is that second one maybe on on the way to kill that dozer? Yeah, I think it might be. He's just like he's kind of cutting after the dozer. Might drop off a terrace? No, it doesn't right. look like it. You got the truck. Yeah. So he went for bad. the truck and not for the dozer. Probably not the best choice. But um, yeah. So now, oh, running in. What? Oh yes, I thought that might happen. <laughs> he got the deny. He made the he made the the nuke battle master like get the splash damage kind of thing onto the other battle master. He kind of like hit it. I think there's and... there's a terrorist. Oh, that was it. Oh, it that must flame... have been it. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, no. I was gonna say it did way too much damage. So it was a flame tank in an outpost. Oh, that was it. So there must be a terrorist in there. He, there's a terrorist, but he, he didn't go for the dozer. I mean, the dozer probably would be a better idea. The terrorist, the technical rather, will just kind of gun down these trucks. Um, trucks will die pretty fast. Dozers though take a long time to die from technical. But yeah, I think that regardless, I, I think the dozer would be the better choice. Yeah, but as cool as that was, I mean, we have to say, but yeah, it was cool. I, think it's, I think it's allowed Carrot to kind of take control now. It looks like he did deny a hijacker up the top as well. I see his little body oh, lying yeah. in the ground, so that's quite nice, denying probably a, a, well, maybe, a dozer. Maybe it was, it was just the technical. Yeah, it might have been too. Anyway, so Ringo did sell his supply. I mean, not a bad choice because there was the garrison of the tunnels. So, I mean, unfortunately, Karu didn't cancel that. Actually, firewalling these quads, he may even kill them, evacing onto that firewall and the garrison. Not the best choice, Karu. If you're going to evac, you better do it fast because you will lose that if you try and evac through a firewall. Yeah, absolutely. It? Fantastic. So he will manage to get that tunnel network, but the flame tank's not going to manage to deny the garrison on the side there. I think Unfortunate. The garrison, um, it only started firing once the, that the other garrison, the tower... Was destroyed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So he, he couldn't fire through it. And so that um, tunnel there may get denied by that... Um, Outpost because it can actually detect it now. Yeah, though. outposts are really nice, especially against the stealth when they're say their supplies are completely stealth and everything's just stealth and it's so tough. I'm yeah. um, normally just to find out where they are, but I think Kara's got an okay foothold here now. I mean, he does have the third supply, so he's going fairly well. And that technical probably get past the nuke battle master. I don't know what's looking for. Looks close to the power there. Yeah, almost killed the battle master as well, denying that tunnel too. And so I'm not sure how much is left if there is anything left. Going for the truck again, we get both of them perhaps. Yeah, it does yeah, get nice. the double truck. Probably not a bad choice, so really you should start trying to take out these dozers. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a lot of economic damage, but I still think killing the dozer is more important. I want to see him, like, I want to see him go behind that battle master and, like, take it out. I reckon he, he can almost do it. I reckon he can. Ah, oh, no, not fast enough. Yep, so he's, he's going a fair bit of cords, but now Caro is almost... Uh, he was on two supplies. I was, I was going to say he's in his third, but actually not getting his third. Yeah, no, not going there. I thought he might have thrown it down the middle. Looking at the yet. mini map, you see like 15 green dots. Yeah, and you're like, like, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, he's got a supply. <laughs> this is a lot of garrison, a lot of okay. units. So I think Ringo's definitely on the back foot. He's just uh, constantly losing units. 
to yeah. these um, Terra Techs, which is quite nice. And this Garrus is going to be hard to break through. I think he definitely might need mines on his his secondary supply on his on his primary supply. Sorry, but I think it's going to be really difficult. And that power not going up in time, so the Gat has been denied. Interesting choice going for that Gat turret there. Yeah, I think he's trying to go into the mines. He really wants to deny it. And also, if there's RPGs, he can't fight for the scaffold. So look at this dodging here. Ringo, look at that juking. He really wants to keep that dozer alive. He's actually full of terrorists, though. I don't know if he cancelled that or not. No, I think he no, might no. have done it. didn't really look like the animation was correct. I think it might have been a cancel. He got a fair bit of money, so yeah. he probably did cancel it in the end. But that was a very nice play there from Ringo. I think he was trying to like bait him into yeah. the mines. The terrorists did die, though, so we'll have to see. And that, that gate cannon is actually a good move, because it means that future t tech terrors just won't work. Can't get through there, yeah. And, but not only that, because he's stealth general, it means all that Caro has is quartz and RPGs, both of which are countered by Gatling Cannon. Oh, that Gat's going to come up in time. No, the technical going to go for the primary supply now. I want to see him take out another two trucks, so that would be fantastic. That would be pretty good indeed. We may even kill the supply. Yeah, he yeah, will. that's good. Nice. So, Rikara is just doing so much damage here with his tech terrorists. Relentless aggression is really paying off for him, oh, as definitely. he's now getting his third supply. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I think the problem with these Gats, I mean, they're really nice to deny the technicals, but you also have to remember, um, they are putting you behind, because they do cost quite a bit, and that's uh, that's stopping units from actually coming oh, out. No! Oh, no! Terrorists! Please, Terrorists, please! No, he decides to go for the... Ooh. Ooh interesting choice. Cancel I think... it! Sell it! Cancel it! Cancel it! Cancel it! I think it got destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. Yeah, there, whoopsie. Yeah. So, again, Caro's dozer hunting really isn't the best and leaves something, some, something to be, um, something to improve on at least, yeah. but still, he's just doing so much damage that it's gonna pay off. It doesn't even matter that he's, he's behind in these techs, but he's gonna lose more of these quads to that firewall. Really not the best quad micro. They're throwing some of these away. He didn't even get in the tunnel. He just kind of left it there. I guess he really wants to deny that flame tank, and he will in the end. I did. The, the, the flame wall kind of juked down. He couldn't actually take it out. So now, yeah, the quad gets taken out. He didn't even back off in time. So mm. tunnel network gets taken down, and Ringo's really forcing back into this middle. So, yeah, I think the quad micro could definitely be improved upon. Something to be desired. But now, with these double Gatling cannons, Kara's going to have a harder time harassing him on the flanks. But still, the, the, the middle is so open, hence open, zero, yeah. t open TD. So, you can't really camp it off by static defenses because it just leaves so much. Look at that, he just drives past an outpost. Doesn't even care, but we have to remember there's mines there now, so we'll have to see how he does it. Hopefully it's RPGs. Like a battle master. I hope it's RPGs. RPGs would be smart. Might just be the technical. We'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, and these battle masters, um, he may kind of kill the, the workers, but I don't know if Ringo realises that it's actually there. It is... Oh yeah, upgrade it. it it's not um, stealth it's not yet. stealth yet. Yeah. Unlike um, tunnels, we have to research stealth on the supplies themselves. So moving in here, I mean the planet's getting focused. Isn't he taking the RPGs out pretty are going to go down as well. I yeah, think. there goes yeah. one quad. Even oh one no, RPG. I guess the second RPG in. So maybe going for all cap wouldn't be a bad idea for Ringo, given that he does have that uh, Gatling cannon there, and so he's trying to duke away from these terrorists, and uh, he still has both his doses, which is quite surprising. Yeah, so three uh, terrorists still in the middle, and looks like they may actually go for a battle master. Just looking in the uh, the top half there, but. Yeah, I'm not really sure at this point. I mean, I definitely like to see some oil caps, especially from Caro. I mean, we haven't really seen any aggression so far as the oil derrick on Caro's side yet. So, I mean, he could have had that. He could have had that producing money this entire time, and he hasn't so far. Yeah, Caro has his palace getting a black market now as well. So, I think, like, because Ringo, all he really has is basically just nuke battle masters and a couple of outposts, which. Against palace units, like if, if Caro starts getting battle buses or buggies, they can really rip through there. That Gatling cannon will actually go for the technical. Oh god! Not... Using terrorists to take out Gats, I like it. Yeah. So I think Ringo, he could have marked with that better. If he was paying attention, he would have killed the yeah. uh, terrorists. And w when you kill terrorists with like a gun, like whether it be Gatling cannon, Red Guard, whatnot, they don't detonate. They only detonate if they're killed yes. by explosives, so like, like a, a rocket or rocket. something. So if Ringo was paying attention, he, he could have saved that if he focused the, uh, uh, the terrorists straight away, but losing that Gatling cannon is a bit of a big blow. Oh, definitely. It means, it means the next technical is going to come through there, and looks like he will be going for the side now. Going to just sneak in past everything, maybe get one Battle Master shot off. No, oh, not even that. Um... So we're probably going for the supply, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, he might even get the dozer in the prop center. That's going to be very important there. What does he have, though? Please, does he have please? more terrorists? No, I don't He's know. Not. Is he microing it? I'm not sure. What's he going for? I have no idea. He could have killed it. If it was a terrorist, he could have yeah, easily it. might not be terrorist. It. We'll see how we go. Might, might just be the technical. Might be just, just be a distraction for Ringo's arm. We just see Carrie pushing up the left-hand flank. 
empty. Nothing was empty. <laughs> okay, yeah. So just a distraction so Carrie can push up this left hand side. Not a bad move. With a Jarman as well, but we have to remember there is a Gat Cannon ready to go on that side, but it is taking got oh, wow. gotten taken very low. I think that we might have missed a tech terror at some point. Let's yeah, see. He must have been a tech terror. He must have macroed it as we were mentioning earlier. It's gonna rip through these um quads, but unfortunately, the Jarma took down the battle master, and now with that wound and Gatlin Cannon didn't quite survive for long. Had that been full health, he might have even killed all of those quads. Yeah, and through the middle, is that a saboteur? Ladies and gentlemen, that oh is a saboteur. God. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, oh, he's trying to play him all. Ah, oh, the... double play him all. He might even get it. Ah, nice. well done, Ringo. Nice play <laughs> there, indeed. And yeah, that saboteur, it's, it's good at stealing money. And basically, it steals a thousand cash. So not only does it does it oh, take oh, away a thousand of your opponent's cash, it also gives you a thousand. So it's pretty effective. That outpost from uh, the new battlemaster from Ringo wasn't very effective. But I uh, got taken out pretty fast. Yeah, you're gonna start backing off now. Caro's work is done. He took down that supply on the side and he did that was a pretty fantastic push out. So if he can back these units off, he that's a really, really good engagement for him, especially considering he's been mining from that third supply and still no oil cap from either player, especially look at that control Ringo has over the top wall, Derek. But oh, oh no, Lotus, here we go. About time. And actually another saboteur. Hopefully. You might even get in, I reckon. I just love the run animation. It's just so <laughs> janky. <laughs> I think he's going for it. He's got this. He's going for it, man. Just watching the heroic saboteur path. I think he's going, yeah, probably going for the money still there instead so of the shutdown. Yes, yeah, a that's thousand. a thousand, so. Minus a thousand. We have to remember it's a two thousand deficit kind of thing because it's a switch around. So it's not only the five hundred that um Carrie spent on it. Ringo loses a thousand, Carrie gets a thousand. So I uh, actually a lot, especially considering Carrie has ticked up now, so he's starting to get some buggies out. I think it's 500, it might be a thousand, because I'm pretty sure in 1.4 it's a thousand. Oh no, it is oh, a thousand. Oh, okay. But in 1.6, um, maybe it was the, the build it? time that they reduced. I don't know, but, but that flame tank, like, how the hell did it get there? And more importantly, what why is it is, doing? <laughs> why isn't it firewalling all of these black markets? <laughs> Come on, please, Ringo. That is the most Ringo, ideal please. place to have a flame tank. Like, <laughs> where else would you rather be Can if you were flame a flame tank? Them? Oh, he's, he's, he's gonna lose it. No, oh, Ringo, please. Now that is the. I'm gonna screenshot that as the the worst <laughs> flame tank in all of Zero Hour ever. I'm, I'm sorry, Ringo, but that is the most. He must have thought he tank. lost it or something. I have yeah. no idea. You really should have paid attention. And that is the issue with not playing with a radar. Radar, yeah. Because Ringo's command center is incredibly late, and on that note... I he could have got like four black markets there, like he would, easily. He would have denied these two, yeah. and then we probably would have killed a third, oh, maybe a tunnel. One, yeah. And so the buggies are moving in with that rocket buggy yeah. upgrade. Buggies and... are going to just destroy. Oh, man, look at that. There's no isotope upgrade. Ringo hasn't got half that far. He's just going to take out the, 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 the battle master, he's going to take out the flame tank. We do have an ECM finally coming out from Ringo, having finished his prop center, but I mean, at this point, I mean, quad... Um, sorry, quad oh. uh, rocket buggies are really nice, and the saboteur did get revealed by Lotus, but he's just gonna swag walk in. <laughs> We're gonna steal something else. Yeah, I mean there is mines though. Yeah, I love saboteurs. They're just so they're so, so awesome. Yeah. I never you never see anyone build them. Have we ever casted a game with saboteurs? Maybe oh. like once. It's yeah. It's just funny because like the last cast we did, we, we saw the demo upgrade for the first time. Yeah. The one before that, and uh, that was um that was Rohan. The one before that, he's gonna run into them the mines though. Oh, Bye saboteur. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, okay. he couldn't swag walk hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't like swag so hard. He just dodged the, the mines. mines. Yeah. Just like dodge him. Wouldn't that be awesome if like Sabados could dodge mines? You just watch him side step and through. But it looks like uh, Caro will be going for the center now. Going to start firing away at those tunnels. And oh my god, how effective are rocket buggies at garrisons? They're like pretty good, I reckon. They're not bad. Not bad indeed. No, I think maybe they do cost a thousand. If they cost a thousand, they might it's, cost it's not really yeah. worth it. I don't think. And uh, these ECMs will kind of shut down some of those rocket missiles, but he may even lose the supply. Yeah, he doesn't quite finish off in the end, and that overall got, got sniped. sniped by Jarman. And now uh, these cords are gunning through those ECMs. The overall in the back isn't Not doing anything. Doing anything, I know. So Ringo in all kinds of trouble here. Yeah, calls the GG. Yeah. I mean, look, look how many buggies Carrie had, despite having nine black markets. Yeah. And by nine, I mean like four. But still, yeah. a lot of black markets. There were a few. Carrie played that really well. He really did. Yeah, that was it was really, really, really nice. I mean, despite the fact that Ringo went for that that forward um, supply, got those two trucks out and denied the tunnels. Carrie's like, that's fine. I know now that your supplies are going to be delayed, that your mines are going to be delayed. So my tech terror when it comes in will kill something. Yeah. And, and it did. And then Carrie just had Ringo on the back foot for the rest of the match because he took control of that middle. Took ages for Ringo to get that back. And by the time you know. With constant tech terror and with constant tech RPGing, Ringo was just forced back. Kara got his palace and he teched up, and that's how he won. So. 
Yeah, I, I think one issue that we mentioned before, Caro really could have closed that game. If he just With killed doses, the dozers. Yeah. Like, maybe what he could have done is, like, the third time if he made it a tech RPG. Then you, you can doze a hunt, you can doze a hunt, and you can still kill the trucks. Like, whereas with, with terrorists, because they're disposable, obviously you can't kill trucks yeah. and a dozer and a power plant. With RPGs, you can kill the truck, you can kill the dozer, and then you can go hunt some battle martyrs or whatever you yeah. want to do. So, yeah, I, I think Karu could have done that a little bit better, but other than that, he played pretty solid. Relentless, yeah. constant tech terror is something that you don't really see a lot. I mean, a lot of times with GLA, you, you see like them open up with a tech terror. And then just transition from there. Yeah, and then yeah. just stop tech yeah. terroring. And it's like, well, why would you stop tech terroring? This is so <laughs> good. Especially because of how, like, because once, once you tech terror once, if you kill a building war factory supply, it puts, like, the China or the USA on the back foot. That if you keep tech terroring, it, it's going to delay either their their third supply, it's going to delay their, their tech, their prop center, or their airfield. So it's it's pretty important if you can constantly tech Terra. Yeah. I mean, like, with that sort of play style, maybe it would have made more sense for Karu to go GLA Demolition, because I don't think he really utilized Use stealth, stealth that much. In, yeah, in his full sixth cent, no. He only had, like, three tunnels. He didn't really build a lot of tunnels. Yeah, other I mean, than saboteurs, that's about it. Yeah. So, I mean, the stealth saboteurs. I mean, granted that, um, that Karu, Ringo, rather, was, was denying the tunnels pretty well, but I still think Carrie could have got more tunnels would be a fair bit better. Yeah. But I, I did like his sort of heavy black market play. Um, was one thing with saboteurs is, I mean, going for the supply isn't really the best. Like I, I think what they like they really shine at because you, you can put them in a war factory or a barracks or whatever. Um, it'll it'll prevent production for like thirty. Yeah, how seconds. long is it? Thirty seconds. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's not really a huge deal because if if you're going like you could do a tech terror, but I think the good thing about saboteurs is they're, yeah. they're perma stealthed. Like, you can't walk terrorists across the map into a war factory. <laughs> the China's going to be like, well, no. But because Saboteur was a permit, you can just walk across... The you don't have to get a, te uh, a technical. Yeah. You don't have to drop one. You just walk across the map, and hopefully they won't have outposts lying around. So Saboteur was good in that sense. But I think shutting down a war factory isn't really a big deal. Shining down power, again, isn't exactly a huge deal. But what I think saboteurs are amazing at, like what I think they're absolutely fantastic... This is big. They will reset the timer on a super weapon. If, if you Did have, you know like, that? a Scud Storm... Did you know that? <laughs> a Scud Storm with, like, a six-minute cooldown, because it's, yeah. like, 1.6, it's, it's no longer five minutes, so they swap around for the nuke cannon, nuke missile. Nuke missile, yeah. It's, like, 30 seconds left, and it's like, oh, no, there's a nuke... Oh, oh no, he's going to nuke me. And the China's like, yeah, I'm going to nuke you. Yeah, I'm going to nuke him. Good. Saboteur. Boom, whoop. There goes your timer. The, the timer's timer. reset. So that's like another five minutes. So I, I watched, I'd play it once all. I think it was against like maybe Murder. I don't know who it was, but there yeah. was some guy I was playing with. And he just, he sabotured my nuke cannon. I mean, nuke missile. And I was just like, no. And I was pretty mad. Super depressing. Because, yeah, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal indeed. Because as I said, they're perma stealthed. So, it's it's hard to know they're coming. You, you can't really see it coming unless you have outposts. You can mine them, but again, not if you're GLA, yeah. not if you're USA. Um, the other thing as well, which is really good, is it resets the timer on... If you've got the command center, it resets the timer on all of your... Abilities. Yeah, your yeah. abilities. So, for example, if you're in the late game, and you have, like, a fuel air bomb and an A-10 strike and like leaflet drop... Gunship. Yeah, all that... <laughs> And, like, in, in the late game, if there's not a lot of supplies, like, mm -hmm. if you've only got, like, a handful of black markets and he's got, like, an old Derek and maybe, yeah. like, a drop zone, in the late game, where, like, the those generals' abilities are just so powerful because they're fully leveled and there's just isn't a lot of units on the field. So when they're, like, ridiculously powerful, you can stab a two of the command center, there goes the three-minute, five-minute timer on everything. And they're, they're pretty cheap. So stab is... They're good. Uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're very niche. You can't just spam them every game. Yeah. But they're, they're good. They they're definitely. Use. They can be good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually check the cost because I'm not entirely sure yeah, if they are 1,000. I'm pretty sure it's not 1,000, just on the feel of it, because I remember building them for less. It's been a long time since I played a GLA and actually yeah. built saboteurs, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm, just because they're such a niche, you know, I'm not really sure what their cost check. is, but I'm gonna have, to, to have a look at it. I'm going to stop recording um, yeah. the video, though, otherwise it'll crash. But we're still going webcam. I'm going to check right now. Yeah. So I'm sure okay. most of you stop watching by now. That's okay. We don't expect you to yeah. to watch us Google how much saboteurs cost. <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll have a look for you. We will. Okay. So, okay. so saboteur well, on yeah, one point four. I, I know it'll be a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It was. So we'll yeah. go the one point six chain pound patch. Like one point six 
Tash. So you're sure it's a thousand on one point four? I'm very yeah. sure it's a thousand. Okay. Because Sab. Saboteurs. They probably didn't even have an entry into the, the Wikipedia because yeah, no one's doing saboteurs. Yeah. How do you spell it? Sab. Sab. I don't know. I don't even know. Much, uh, my spelling isn't the best. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna Google, Google saboteur. saboteur. Jesus Christ. Saboteur. Yeah, saboteur zero hour. We so have... hard to find. Oh there God. we go, Saboteur. Ah, that's Tiberium. That's, that's yeah. the engineer in Tiberium no, Wars. Tiberium. Saboteur generals. Yes. yes. Here we go. Okay. Saboteur costs... 800. 800. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no. So there weren't a th full thousand. I thought the full thousand was a bit much. So that's in... That's for 1.4 then. Thou okay. Uh, we have 15 seconds build time. Maybe it's... So, okay, so look at the 1.6 patch. Patch notes. Which everyone should have a look at if you're if you're interested. They're really they're really interesting if you want to learn everything that happens in 1.6. Oh damn! Saber to a training time decreased from 15 to, 10, to 10, seconds. 10 seconds. They build quite fast. Yeah, yeah, and not only that, Saber to a price decreased from 800 to 600. 600. So, so it was they're cheap. Big, yeah, they're, it was a lot cheaper. Yeah, because they, they, they just weren't they weren't that viable in 1.4 just because um because of how long they took to build. I mean, your barracks would be taken up for 15 seconds, and the mm. fact that like uh, 800 is a lot. I mean, it's not a really good trade off. So they were really actually good trade offs. During that game, because I mean, it's six hundred. He gets it. Then you get a thousand back, and yeah. you, you steal a thousand. I mean, they didn't really pay off because he lost it. Lost a couple to mines and stuff like that. And he lost one to yeah. like a flame wall. So, but not bad, not bad, not bad indeed. All right, well, I'll wrap this one up. Something we've we'll been doing a bit more of recently is yeah. a lot of an 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 analytics, analyzing, analyzing your ticking. We'll stop recording that. Okay, yeah. so we'll just we'll cancel the the webcam. So yes, so uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, with the generals, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure, guys. Hopefully, you like the uh, analysis side because like I don't know how many of you guys are Stick actually fam no yeah. are familiar oh, with one point six. Ah, okay. So I, I do try and sort of break down some of these changes yeah. to explain why they're doing crazy stuff. But anyway, bye bye, bye guys.